Hello all. Today in this class we discuss about the signal flow graph which is used to analyze the control systems, the output response by input response for any any given system, first order or second order system. First of all, block diagram gives a diag diagrammatic representation of a control system by a way of to determine the by the way of to determine the transfer function. But signal flow graph is representation of a control system by a way of eliminating the summing point, takeoff point and block. The elimination is achieved by representing the variable by points is called the nodes. Nodes, yes, right? Uh, the is very important. This is called the nodes. Okay. And the transfer function is of the particular block is known as a transmittance parameter, which is represented by by a line called branch. Okay. So second parameter is branch and every gain block is known as transmittance of the particular block. Okay. A signal on the branch travel in the direction of an arrow indicated indicated on, on the branch. Okay. Say for example, this is an X1 signal, this is a block. A this is X2. Now see that this is basically the one node, this is known as input node and one node here coming from the output node and from this node one line is drawn and this is a forward path and gain equal to a so this is the transmittance parameter a okay so this is the input node x1 and this is the output node x2 okay and the branch between them okay so this uh, that is how we represent the signal flow graph from the block diagram reduction method or any mathematical uh, notation can be also replaced by the the signal flow graph also okay say for example Say for example, for this unity feedback system, for this unity feedback system, we know that this G, this output C, this R, this our comparator is present here, and this is an H. Okay, sorry, we are right. Now convert this block diagram by signal flow graph. So here one point, this one node, and here another node, this C, this R these are transmittance and the direction is toward forward because these are open loop gain so this is a forward path gain also known as this is a node and here this is a feedback the direction is from here to here because feedback signal input here and the output is present here so that's why the direction is in this direction okay so this is the signal flow graph where two nodes this is an input this is an output this is a transmittance, this is also transmittance in a feedback path and this is transmittance in a amplifier or in the forward path. This is an input signal, this is an output signal. So this is an equivalent diagram of the signal flow graph for the unity feedback control system. Okay. Say for the another example. So another example is say this is an input signal P, this is gain by A, and there is one summing point. Say this is again one. And this is considered as a Q. Say this is B, B. Here feedback is present from this feedback, and these two symbols are in plus positive. So now, here one input node where you apply P. Okay. So first of all, this is noted. So now, here the gain equal to A, and this is a one point and in the transmittance there is again one this is an output C this is the point this this point equal to this and this take home point is coming from here to here right and this is minus sorry this is plus B because this is a positive feedback okay and the direction is from output to input input so this is an input node this is an output node this is a feedback this is a forward path okay Okay, so that's why this the representation of signal flow graph from the block diagram representation. So this is very very important. Okay, so rules of drawing of signal flow graph. There have some rules. Okay, the next point is there have some rules which is followed through the other signal flow graph. Signal flow graph also known as SFG. Number one rule is that the signal traffic travels along a branch in the direction of an arrow okay second rule is that the input signal is multiplied by the transmitters to obtain an output signal okay so this is very easy we see also see that 
from here that is this, this input signal is multiplied by a and out giving the output signal here now next third one is input signal at a node is a sum of all the signals entering at that node number four a node transmits signals in all branches leaving that node so now we represents our signal flow graph okay so there is an one typical formula for the signal flow graph for a signal flow graph for for a kth number of path is known as mason's gain formula this is a typical formula for signal flow graph and this is known as denoted by m is basically summation of k equal to 1 to n this is pk delta k by delta okay where k is a path from the specified input to an output node and pk this pk is basically the forward path transmittance of kth path from the specified input node to an output node student please note down pk is the forward path transmittance of kth path from a specified input node to an output node that means if here one node and one node and there is one forward path then this is p1 and if there is another forward path this direction because this input this output so this is another forward path p2 if there is an another forward path this is known as p3 so depending on the path that means kth path means here k equal to 1 2 3 so therefore the forward path equal to p1 p2 p3 this is very easy okay now delta what is the delta this is very important the delta is a graph determinant determinant which involves the closed loop transmittance and the mutual interaction between the non-touching loops so in the in the problem we will be discuss about that so basically this delta this delta this denominator delta is basically the formula is 1 minus sum of all individual loop sum of all individual loop plus sum of the loop transmitted product all of the pairs all possible pairs of non-touching loops minus sum of the loop transmission loop transmittance product of all possible triple of non-touching loops and so on in the pro in this in the in this part the specific problem will be discussed thoroughly about this for the delta k delta k is a path factor associated with the concerned part concerned path and involves all closed loop in the graph which are isolated from the forward path under consideration we will be discussing the problem because in the theoretical senses it is not realized or it is not clear to understand it and it is difficult to understand what is delta k and what is delta okay uh, just for the example if we consider if we for consider for this forward path okay now this this is an forward path say for example this is an example say for this is an example so this is the one this is a loop gain this is this, this is known as the unity loop gain or or, or one non-touching loop or two non-touching that means for the control system there are lots of feedback are presence or not due to the depend on the signal flow graph so in the problem we will be discuss about thoroughly that what is the meaning of actual meaning of delta and what is actual meaning of this delta k okay say for example if any forward path is follow here and if there is another path there is an one feedback is present here so when you consider this path so this is one non-touching loop then delta will be present otherwise not okay so in the problem we'll be discussed thoroughly about that so now we discuss the problem related to the signal flow graph which is very important for the gate and the also for the net examination okay so now our first problem our first problem is for this block this is a signal r this is a direction there is present one node and the gain between them this is a g and there is one another gain one and this is a point x2 and from here to here the gain is minus h1 and from here to here 
the gain is G2 and these output C in a Laplace domain and we we'll see that there are three nodes are present okay these one forward path these are forward path these are forward path but these are feedback path okay now here first forward path in the first forward path what is again g1 into 1 that is equal to g1 so this is our first forward path from input to output now in the second forward path what is our p2 in the second forward path is a g2 okay this is very easy now there is only one loop that is l1 equals to minus g1 into h1 loop gain means loop gain means simply just multiply between them and the, this here minus sign is present and for p1 delta 1 equal to 1 why delta 1 on because there is a no non taxing loop for the forward path and delta 2 also equal to 1 because for this forward path there is a no non touching loop any loop here non touching no because this loop is touching by this forward path and this forward path that's why this two value equal to 1 if the, this loop is non non touching then the gain is 1 minus for the particular particular non touching loop gain will be discussed later in the in the next advanced problem so now what is the delta now what is the meaning of this delta the meaning of delta is 1 minus 1 non touching loop gain that means the formula is 1 minus l1 so that means here l1 equal to only 1 non touching loop that means this is g1 into h1 this is very easy so now student you know now you understand what is the meaning of delta so here only one notching loop one non touching loop if two not touching then the formula is 1 minus l1 plus l1 l2 and and so on because but here only one not touching loop so now here what is the value of c by r we know that p1 delta 1 plus uh, p2 delta 2 divided by delta because here value of n that means from the mission gun formula we know that here k equal to 1 to n here n equal to the number of path forward path here by here the forward path equal to 2 so now the putting the value and getting the results so this is g1 into 1 plus g2 into 1 divided by yes right g1 into h1 yes so now what is the formula so now what is the mathematical formula so this is our gain that is c by r so this is our gain for this particular signal flow graph okay now from this signal flow graph we we can also draw the block diagram also so what is a block diagram so now here we are now this is one g1 okay there is gain g1 now here and here there is one summing point comparator and here h1 this is negative this is positive is coming from this node so this node is one this node is two is one two and one and uh, from here also one gain g2 is created and coming from here and addition with this plus and also here plus these are node 3 and these output cs okay so these are equivalent block diagram representation of this signal flow graph okay so student it is your home task you please solve this block diagram and calculate c by r and examine this gain is equal to this gain or equal to or not okay so this is a validity of the signal flow graph to reduce the block diagram method okay in the next video we will be discuss the advanced problem of the block diagram uh, signal flow graph from the block diagram reduction process okay